Hey guys, today Sam and I are going away. We're not really going away, but we're going to stay at a hotel for the night. So I thought I would get ready with you guys. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Um, but I just want to do my makeup. So today for my eyes, I'm actually going to put foundation on them. Because I want them to match because I'm not going to do much eyeshadow. If you know, I'm not going to do any eyeshadow actually. I'm just going to do liner. So I'm taking my Fenty Beauty. Um... What is it? Foundation. And I'm putting this on my eyes. This is the shade 140. And I'm just using this and then I'll set it and then do my eyeliner. Um, the other day I used like my P. Louise base and just did eyeliner and it just looked a bit like weird. Like it was fine, but like my eyes were just significantly lighter than the rest of my face and I was like, oh. So I'm just doing this today instead. So I'm just blending that out like, oh my God. And then I'm just going to set it with the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. I'm so excited. I'm staying, we're staying at this place called Somerset on the pier. I had never even heard of it before. Um, and then I was, I was like to Sam, oh, we should go like stay somewhere. And then like this place came up on like the booking website and I was like, okay. So I decided to book it and it looks so nice. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to vlog it as well. So you guys will get to see what it looks like and everything. Um, I'm taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex liquid aligner. I'm just doing a wing. I just want something like quite small. Like I'm going out like in public so it doesn't need to be anything too crazy. I love this liner, it's such a nice one. Okay. Just like that, that's all I need to do. Um I was gonna take this Be Perfect um and jar pigment in Mainzy. Let's see. It's like this really beautiful like white shade. And I just need to turn my heat off, I'm getting so hot. I thought it just might look cute like on the inner corner. Let's have a look. It's such a beautiful shade. Wow. I love it. It's like... Yeah. Alright, well, let's put some of this on my inner corner. I only want a little bit. God, I'm just trying to find a small brush. Okay. I want like the smallest bit. I don't know if it's going to stick or not. Mm, looks like we're... Like you probably can't even see it that much, but I feel like when I just go out like in the light, and when the sun hits it and stuff, it's just going to look so cute. It is actually such a beautiful shade. I don't need to do like a full eye look with it. I feel like that's cute. Okay. Right, I'm going to go put some lashes on um, and then I will be back in a minute. Okay, so I have my lashes on now. I just used the Doll Beauty lashes in Chloe. And I just need to clean up like this. I accidentally smeared this. No, I don't want it. I'm going to prime it with my Fenty Beauty. Oh, actually, I've got the wrong one. I want the hydrating one. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to prime with the Fenty Beauty hydrating primer because we are going to be taking. A matte foundation today, so I don't want to like, you know. Wow, this feels so good. For foundation today, I am taking my Fenty Beauty one. Can you guys see like my foundation is up to here? Like, it's just so, I'm so close to using it all. Like, I've never used a foundation up. I'm so excited. Alright, so anyway, this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. This is the matte one. I feel like it just lasts a little bit longer because I am wearing it out. I obviously want it to last as long as possible. Um, so yeah, this is in the sh shade 140. I feel so all over the place. Like I don't know how to feel in YouTube videos anymore. <laughs> Let's see. This foundation matches me really well, but it oxidizes. So I will have to blend it a lot. And bring it down. This one dries quite fast, so it's best to like use it in um 
or do it in like you know stages I guess so I usually do one side I'll do my other side I really do love this foundation hence why I've almost used it um I have so many foundations that I love but this one I always like to like I go back to when I have to wear it out of the house because I just feel like it's really like trusty you know good, good staple I do get nervous wearing makeup out of the house because I am just such a I don't know it's weird like I do all these cool like creative looks and stuff in my studio and I'm fine but then I wear something super neutral out of the house and I'm like not fine <laughs> I'm sure we all have our things so I just don't know yeah I'm just really not used to wearing makeup outside of the house so I do I do feel weird I do want to start wearing it more though because I have so much of it and it's like obviously like one of my favorite things to do so I want to be able to wear it more last time Sam and I went away or like went and stayed at a hotel I took all my makeup and then never ended up doing it so this time I was like I want to actually do it because you know like we don't get to go much like we don't really go out too much um so you know I'm gonna make the most of it while we are out you know so I'm just gonna bring some of this to my neck because as I said it does exercise I don't know what I'm gonna do because my chest is just so pale but I am gonna be wearing a um jacket anyway but still it's like uh. anyway see this is just such a waste of feeling <laughs> like am I meant to do my whole chest because I don't know I can't <laughs> All right, anyway, um, for concealer today, I am taking the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. I love this concealer so much. Just wanna check it's all like all good first though. Right, make sure I've got everything, I'm pretty sure I do. But it can't hurt to check. So I'm just gonna conceal everywhere I normally do. And then I'll take my sponge, just blend it all in. God, it's raining. What the hell is going on? It keeps like spreading. Like, go into the skin, stop moving. Just take my big sponge and just go over everything. Okay set that concealer with the hourglass veil setting powder and I'll set um, the rest of my concealer as well oh my god it's so hard to get this powder out there's a crease in my Okay, looks pretty good to me. Um, I'm going to set the rest of my face with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW20. I need coverage, you know, I'm going out in the real life. I'm going into the real world, so I need people to, you know, you guys know. Chest, you know, just try and get it all done. <laughs> and I also do want a little bit of a glow to my skin, so I am going to um, put the Laura Mercier translucent glow powder on top as well. I know you guys are probably like, that's excessive. Not much I could do. I feel like my skin just looks like ass, and I'm just upset. Hey, I get in these moods sometimes where I just, like, it doesn't matter, like, my makeup could look the exact same as it did yesterday, but today I'll feel upset about it, if you know what I mean. I don't know why, don't ask me, it just happens sometimes, I get in bad moods about myself. But. Anyway, today I'm taking the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer, the shade Sweet Tea, I'm using that. 
to bronze. I hate when I'm in a bad mood. I'm not even in like a bad mood. I just, I don't know. I'm just like irritable. I feel like maybe because I'm a little bit stressed. I feel like once we get to the hotel, like, and it doesn't even matter. Like, it's not even, like, it's not even like it's a big deal or a big trip or anything. It's literally like one night in a hotel, but I do just get stressed. So maybe I'm just a bit overwhelmed. You know, I don't know. I need to feel like I need to wait until like all of my makeup's done and then look at myself and decide how I feel. Um, I tried out this NARS the multiple sticks the other day in the shade Orgasm and I really liked it. So I'm gonna use it again today. I feel like it just was such a, a pretty shade. It just looks like this. It's like a, a stick. But it's so nice. Do you see what I mean? Like it's just very like... Don't you think that looks cute? I think it looks cute. Oh my god. Oopsies, I crushed it. I like put the lid down on the actual product if you know what I mean. Anyway. For highlight today I'm taking the Too Faced Love Light Highlighter in the shade Blinded by the Light. It's just a very pretty, like, glowy highlight. Just gotta make sure my face is all good. I'm gonna set this bad boy with lots of setting spray. Alright, I'm gonna go off camera, do my hair, do my lips, and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I used the Anastasia liquid lipstick in On Mute and I used the Colourpop Gloss in, let me have a look, I've packed it in my bag because I'm going to take it with me, Blissful. So this is, oh my god it's on my teeth, lol. But anyway this is how the, oh my god, the finished look looks, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will have a vlog of my little trip, so make sure you go watch that if you're interested. But yeah, thank you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!